We back. Welcome What's to up, Covers' man? NHL Puck Prop Tuesday, May 17th with Jingles and Coco. It's round two action, and we don't have to bet on the Leafs anymore, that's for sure. Oh, thank God. There is a God. There is a God. No. But I wish if there was a hockey God, they would have let the Leafs win. Come on. No. No, same team, same results. Oh Moving on God. with our betting sites. Absolutely. We got some big ones today. Tampa Bay at Florida. If you didn't watch that series, Carter Verhage just dominated that game. He finished it with that OT winner in mm. overtime. We've talked about it before, Carlo. Confidence, confidence, confidence. And now he's riding probably the biggest heater in the playoffs right now. And he gets to do so he's riding shotgun with Barkov and Giroux. Is this sustainable for Verhage here versus a Tampa Bay team that we saw can give up goals? Yeah, I think it absolutely can be because, you know, again, there was a huge load lifted off of Florida's shoulder, winning that all important first round playoff series. First time since 1996. So you kind of feel like once you relieve that pressure and all the noise that comes with it, you're playing with free money now, right? And I know there's a lot of expectation in Florida. You know, they're a team that's built to win the Stanley Cup. I think they've got a very favorable matchup. It'll be very intense because it is the Battle of Florida. And we saw, you know, the heat and the blood that was developed last year and the hate in that series. But if you're Carter Verhage right now coming off of the series that you just had where you scored two OT winners, you racked up 12 points, six goals, and six assists, you're basically looking at your teammates and you're saying, Get me the puck. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, maybe they find themselves in a favorable, favorable situation in game one because Tampa went through seven games, hard fought seven games against the Maple Leafs. People might say that, you know, maybe there's a tired factor that might play in the start of this series. I don't buy the tired factor, especially with a team that is so used to winning, but they're without Braden Point. That's going to be huge. Their depth's going to be exposed in this. And maybe this is an opportunity for Florida to take advantage of it. And let's be honest. Florida doesn't win unless they score goals. So if they want to, if they want to win, they need guys like Verhage to step up. Nine points over his last three games in the playoffs. It's absolutely insane. You usually don't get a price like this on a number one winger as hot as he is here at minus 130 just for a point, especially for a team that's favored in the game like Florida. So as we bring it up there, still minus 130 across the board, multiple sites. I think this is just a great, great play for Verhage, who's going to ride that confidence. Hot mm. stick, top line, PP2, go get a point, kid, minus 130, and that's going to be a series to watch. And yeah. we're jumping over to our old friend, Ryan O'Reilly, yes. Mr. Con Smythe, Mr. Playoff, St. Louis. Here's a quick question first. Can St. Louis score in this series? That's a big question. Not only can they score, I think St. Yeah. Louis can win this series. I mean, I looked at the series price. I don't know how there's they're such big underdogs against the Colorado Avalanche. I understand Colorado, you know, they're a juggernaut of an offense, but St. Louis can keep pace scoring goals with the Colorado Avalanche. St. Louis has players that on this roster that have won a Stanley Cup no sooner than three years ago. So to consider them that big of underdogs really, really raises an eyebrow for me. And it's guys like O'Reilly that'll find a way to step up in this moment. They got O'Reilly, Perron, Shen, Tarasenko. These guys have all scored big goals. So I expect no different in this series. St. Louis is not going to be a pushover for these guys. They've got a Stanley Cup winning goaltender in Bennington. They got guys on defense that know how to win. They've got a Stanley Cup winning coach. People are saying that, that, that Colorado is going to roll in this series. I don't necessarily see it as that easy or that predictable. They might win this series, but it's going to be a dogfight. And St. Louis will give you everything that they have to handle for it. Yeah, he scored five times in six round one games, and he scored in four straight games. When I was looking at the stats, I look up, I'm like, okay, we'll have to go get his goal. We'll have to mm -hmm. go get his goal line. But boom, his point, because they're such underdogs here, plus 200 underdogs, we're getting yeah. it at minus one, 125, which is the best price so far in this. So what makes Ryan O'Reilly so special? You've seen him. You've 
shared a locker room with this guy, have yeah. you not? I mean, what what is about his game that translates so well to the playoffs? He's driven, man. He's absolutely driven. He's never satisfied. He's always very self-critical of himself when he feels like he's not given enough or not doing enough. And he's always, as, as good as he is, he's always trying to be better. First guy on the ice, last guy off the ice. Loves the game of hockey. First guy at the rink, probably last guy to leave the rink too. Um, and these are the moments he lives for. He wants to win. He's so driven to win. And at this time of year, those are the type of guys that you want to have on your team, right? Because it becomes contagious for everybody else that's surrounded by him. So, um, you know, there's so many important intangibles that he brings. Leadership, face-offs, you know, great, uh, great uh, battler in the corner and in front of the net. He's not scared of the moment. He's definitely – and it may, maybe there's a little bit of retribution here. He's playing against his former team too, one of his former teams in the Colorado Avalanche. So, um, look, when, when you win a cup or when, you, when you're when you used to winning in the playoffs, you're only driven to achieve more. And I, I mean, this is why I, I like this, the, the Blues so much as, as underdogs, plus 300 as underdogs. I just – I don't get it. I don't know about you, but – the way NHL and the history of the first round has gone over the last couple of years, usually that's where we see a lot of the upsets is in the first round. It was very chalky in the first round. A lot of, lot of series favorites won. And to see the second round with eight teams remaining have teams that are that big of underdogs like St. Louis, like Edmonton, like Tampa Bay. I don't know, man. There's a lot of value here in the second rounds with the underdogs. And you were just listing off the forward group in St. Louis <clears throat> on the road, they're just a hard team to match up against. So right. that gives these guys very deep. that gives these very guys deep, space. Very talented. Yeah. Getting away yeah. from uh, Devin Taves is obviously a big thing. And the other thing, too, is that like people are looking at Colorado and the way they steamed their old Nashville. This is not Nashville. No. You know what I mean? Like you can't look at one series to the other. If there's a team that, that can match up even to Colorado, it's definitely the St. Louis Blues. Who made quick work of a Minnesota team who a lot of people thought were going pretty far. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they, they got, they sent flurry to the bench. So this offense, right. like this <laughs> offense can do some things. So I think, and I think you're on board with this. We might see the price change a little bit in game two. If St. Louis comes out and, you know, at first jab right to the face to Colorado mm -hmm. led by Ryan O'Reilly, who's been there and knows exactly what to do. And again, we just need a point. Ryan O'Reilly over 0 0.5 point. points minus 125. As good as Colorado so to, is, they give up goals too. So, Oh, absolutely. So just two plays today. So we're starting with Carter Verhage over 0 0.5 points, minus 130 for the boys jumping over to our non-visored friend, Ryan O'Reilly, over 0 0.5 points, minus 125. Heading into the second round, the boys are 10-9 and nine straight up, plus 1.68 units. We don't have to bet the Leafs anymore, so we got that going for us. <laughs> all right, as always, head over covers. Check out all our odds page apps. Check out the great news and analysis. I'm Jingles. He's Coco. Lead us out, brother. Welcome to the second round, baby.